strangers somewhere I've never been before. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. We dip our feet at the water's edge, and everyone would come along to meet us there. to see who can trap for longer cause every year my body's getting stronger we can swim all day and dance into the night but we're not coming home till the moonlight shines till the moonlight shines hey guys today i'm going to be talking about julie's room and where i got all of the pieces from so her furniture accessories and also the clothing pieces i used so let's get started. Here's the first item and it is a board from a local craft store. It's really cool. I think you're meant to put Polaroid photos on it, but I decided to use all of these posters from a craft book from Julie's collection. It turned out really fun and I especially love this Brady Bunch poster. Next to that is Julie's Daisy Vanity set and that's obviously from her collection. Everything else is also from that set except for the flower pot and that's just from another set from American Girl. This is Julie's side cabinet and these two pieces are from American Girl and so is the cupboard. The phone is actually from Julie's collection. It's really cool. You can use it like a phone but obviously it doesn't work. So it's a total of three different cupboards. The bottom one has a bunch of Julie's belts. The middle one has some larger headbands. And let me close that up properly. There we go. And then the top one has some smaller headbands and also a bracelet here. The corner of the room has Julie's egg chair. Julie's egg chair is a perfect place to sit and relax and it's definitely one of my favorite pieces from Julie's collection. Inside of the egg chair is Charlie and she's my custom doll and she's wearing Julie's old PJs and she's hugging one of the hugging monkeys from Julie's snack set. In the corner here I have this little orange box from American Girl and inside I've put three mini books so the dolls can read when they're relaxing on the egg chair and they're all themed to Julie. So this is the book that came with the mini Julie and obviously it's the Meet Julie book and all of these books are the older books not the Be Forever books. And this one came with Ivy's mini doll and this is her meat book. 
And lastly, this is the book that came with the 25th anniversary mini doll. And it's a really cool book and I love it because it says 25th anniversary on the bottom. These two covers is where Julie stores all of her outfits and clothing. So on the one closer to the bed has all of her jumpers, jackets, and things like that. Underneath we have some boots and also some sandals. In the cupboard next door we have her sound accessories and we also have these two boxes. In here has some of her dresses and things like that. And then in here we have her pants and her shorts and her skirts. This is the entrance area of Julie's room. So we have a cabinet with four pairs of Julie's shoes. On top of that, we have her sunglasses from her accessories and we also have her lunchbox. Next to that, we have a tub full of sports themed items. And they're all from American Girl, except for the tub itself. That's actually a pencil holder from Typo. And then we have a skateboard or a penny board, a basketball because she loves basketball. And I thought it'd be fun to put sport items there because she loves sports as well. Of course, we can't forget about the rollerblades. This is a Truly Me My American Girl table and chair set from American Girl. It's not from Julie's collection, but it suits her room really well. And in case if Julie has any friends over, they can eat there. All of the food pieces on the table is from her snack set, and the flower pot is from American Girl. As for the mini doll sitting on the chair, that's the 25th anniversary mini doll from American Girl, and it's wearing Julie's holiday outfit. These are some pieces that are on the ground. So we have this really cool pom-pom mat from a local bookstore. And then we have a flower cushion that's all purple and I thought that suit her bed really nicely. Then we have some flowers from a local store and then we have her slippers from her new PJ set. Of course we can't have a bedroom without a bed. So this is Julie's old bed from her historical collection. They have a newer bed from the Beef Burber line but I definitely prefer this one. This one's really fun. The other one's still really cute too, but this one suits the room better. It has some really bright and colorful colors. We also have one of the hugging monkeys on it, and we have her new PJs laying on the side. The basketball set has to be my most favorite find for this room. It's not from American Girl, and it's actually from Typo, which is a stationery store here in Australia. It's really cool because it's one of the desktop basketball sets, so you're meant to have it on your desk, and then you can just flick it with your finger, but it's perfect for the minis, and it looks like a mini basketball court for Julie. And last but not least, of course, I can't have Julie's room without Julie. Here she is, and she is such a pretty doll. She is in her meat outfit, and she has her hair down just with her classic braid. Overall, I love this room so much, and I definitely love Julie. She's such a great doll, and she's such a great addition to the collection. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you Julie's summer afternoon routine. It's a really relaxed day, so let's get started. Firstly, she's just come back from rollerblading, and she had so much fun. So she just needs to take off her shoes because they're going to be a bit awkward to roll around in the house. And I'm just going to place them over here for her. Since she got really hot and sweaty while rollerblading, she decided to take a shower and now she's getting dressed. It's time to brush her hair since it got really messy from rollerblading. Since dinner is coming up, Julie decides to grab a snack rather than a meal and she's having a popcorn and a drink with her mini Julie and they're having a lovely chat together. Now Julie's calling up Charlie asking if she has time to come over just because she has the afternoon free. After having a long conversation with Charlie, Charlie said yes and she's going to come over shortly. But while she waits for her to come over, she's sitting in her egg chair and she's going to choose a book to read. Um, I think she wants to read this book. This book is her meat book. So let me just put it in her hands so she can read it. Julie wants to get dressed in her PJs because Charlie's coming over in her PJs, so she's just getting in her PJs now. Charlie's quite hungry, so Julie asked me to bring some food in for them. So they're sitting at the table because I'm about to give them some yummy snacks. So firstly we have some deviled eggs that they can both share, and also I have some celery sticks. 
and they're both on some really cool flower themed plates. They both finished the snack really quickly because they thought it was really yummy. So now I'm just going to take it away for them. After that, I suggested that they should play with the paper mini dolls. So I have these really cool sleeping bags for the mini dolls. And I have the mini dolls here. This one is of Ivy, who's Julie's best friend. And then obviously I have Julie. And they're really cool, you can change the outfits on them so they can just tuck them into bed or play with them. It's completely up to them. They both had such a great time playing with the paper dolls and now they're playing with the mini dolls. Since Julie loves basketball so much, she suggested setting up this little mini basketball court for the minis. So she has one mini Julie playing already, but she just needs to set up the second one. So here is the second mini Julie and she'll definitely have a great time playing with it too. Julie has had such a great day hanging out with Charlie and doing all of those fun activities and now they're going to be hanging out with the rest of the family so they're going to finish off the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed following around Julie for her summer afternoon. Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening up and taking a look at Julie's bathroom. It seems like such a fun set with a lot of really cool pieces. It retails for $175 and it's in this pretty large box so let's open it up. Hey guys, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be opening up a bunch of Julie themed items and in the end of the video I'm going to be opening up Julie herself. I'm really excited because her items are really adorable, so let's take a look at them. The first item that I'll be opening up is Julie's sound accessories and I think this is the piece I'm most looking forward to opening up besides the doll of course. The 
first item is the tape recorder. It's white, red, and black. And then there's a microphone here, and there's a wire attached to the actual machine. And I'm pretty sure that you can record your voice, and you can press the record button, and then the play and pause button. Those buttons don't work, they're just fake. You can lift this up here. But in order to record your voice, you have to put batteries in. I don't have batteries right now, and you can just put it in there. And it looks like a really fun piece, and I know my dolls will definitely love it. This is another really nice piece. So this is where the records are held in. So it's like a little box and I love this swirly pattern. It's really cool. It's blue and white. And then this part is gray and there's a handle so you can carry it around. I'm pretty sure this part is paper. Like it's not plastic or anything and it's not very sturdy. This part's plastic. When you open it up, there's a total of three records that come in the set. This set comes with a total of three different records and this part is paper along here and it says some record names on the side and then you can open it up and take it out and there's also a little hole so you can see which record is inside and it has a bunch of lines along here it looks a lot like a record and then it says the name of the song and the band on here and then on the back it's just plain and this is quite light plastic. The last piece that comes inside the set is the record player. I'm pretty sure this is the most important piece besides the records, of course. So this set is blue and white, and there's a little handle here so your doll can carry the record around, the record player. And you can lift the lid up, and this part along here is all white. There's a little speaker here so the music plays, and on the back there's an area to put batteries in, so obviously you need batteries and you can turn the knob you can also lift this up and you're supposed to put it on top of the record so let me try and put a record in to see if it clicks down there we go it clicks down really nicely and it looks like it's staying in and then you're supposed to put this on and i'm pretty sure it should play music so it actually looks like a really cool set what i like about it is that these pieces probably won't break because they're quite sturdy Overall, I definitely recommend this set. It's really good quality and I really like it. Hopefully American Girl doesn't retire it because it's been around for so many years and hopefully it stays around longer because it's definitely a really great piece and I'm glad I have it in my collection. The next item that I'll be opening up is Julie's Daisy Vanity Set. It retails for $60 and it contains one vanity, one stool, one alarm clock and one brush. So it says it needs batteries as well. I think I'm going to go and find some batteries just because I really need them because all of these pieces seem to need batteries. So let me take it out of the box and then see if I can grab some batteries. The first piece is an owl clock. It's so adorable. It looks like an owl and obviously it tells the time on its stomach and you can turn the different pieces if you want so you can change the time and then there is a knob on the back. The next piece is a brush. It's orange and black and it has a bunch of really cool flower designs on the bottom and there's also a little elastic piece in the back so your doll can hold on to the brush which is really nice. This item is really fun. It's the stool and it's really fluffy and soft up top so the dolls will definitely love it when they sit down. And then the bottom part is yellow, but compared to the sound accessories that I opened up, which is much older, this is really, really cheap plastic and this set definitely wasn't cheap. So I'm not very happy with the plastic they used for the vanity and the stool. It's just really cheap, if you can hear it, and really hollow and fake. And yeah, I don't know, I really like the top part and I like the smaller pieces, but the plastic is not very good. And the last item that comes inside the set is the vanity itself. It's yellow and white and it's still that same cheap plastic. You can hear it's really hollow and thin and it's really nice. It's shaped like a daisy, that's why it's called a daisy vanity set. It all lights up on the side and there's a mirror in the middle. There's also a little counter area so the doll can put all of her items she needs and then you can also switch off the lights in the back. Overall, Julie's Daisy Vanity Set is definitely really adorable and I love the design, but I wish the plastic wasn't as cheap and since you do spend $60 for the set, I definitely expect more. I do love how the lights light up, but I definitely prefer 
no lights lighting up and better quality just because it's just really cheap and I'd recommend getting the set if it's on sale. Don't get it full price because it's definitely not worth it but if it is on sale it's a very cute piece and grab it then. Once I open up Julie, I'll show you what she looks like next to the set to see the sizing, so make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. Of course, I couldn't grab Julie without her accessories. This piece retails for $24 and it contains one handbag, one headband, and one pair of sunglasses. Here are all of the accessory pieces, so the first item we have is the handbag and it's tie-dyed and there's elastic on the top so nothing falls out and there's a single strap so your doll can wrap it around her shoulder and then there's a pair of sunglasses. The inside of the sunglasses is a yellow kind of tint while the outside is purple and lastly the headband is a rope kind of design and there's a pink flower. And the last item, but the most important item that I'll be opening up, is the Julie doll, of course. So this set comes with the doll and book, and obviously her outfit as well. And it comes in this American Girl Be Forever box, and it says Julie all right down here. And it shows everything that comes in the set. This is quite a cute outfit, and the book has a really fun design on it, so let's take a look at it. So the first item is the book, it's up top and it says Be Forever Julie and it says 1974 and I love the rainbow design in the back, it's really cool and she's playing basketball because she loves playing basketball. And now it's time to get Julie out of the box. So let's just take the rubber bands off. This is definitely the hardest part of getting a doll out, making our hairnet not caught in the hook parts in the back, which it did. Here's what she looks like out of the box, so let me just take all of the random pieces off. The first item is the tag, and it says how to care for your doll with straight hair, so that would be really handy to have later on when I'm caring for her hair. And then this is the hairnet. Let me take this off as well so I can see what her hair looks like. She has really long hair. Not as long as Kanani's, but she definitely has long hair. And it's really, really soft too. And the last item, let me just flip her around. And let me take the elastic off. And let me do the other side. So I have Julie facing the wall so I can show you what her hair looks like. It's a really nice blonde color and her hair is really straight. It's quite long as well. It's not as long as Kanani's but it's still pretty long and I just love the texture of her hair. It's really soft. Here's Julie facing the front of the camera. She is such a pretty doll. So she has these really dark brown eyes and she's one of the only dolls with lined eyebrows so I thought that was pretty fun. Since so she's smiling and she has quite faint blush on her cheeks. Her outfit's really cute but I definitely prefer her old outfit. Her old outfit was really nice. So she has this kind of yellow jacket and she has this peace sign shirt with flowers on it and she also has jeans with flowers on the side and lastly she's wearing sandals which is purple up top. And here is Julie sitting on the stool. She actually does sit quite nicely even though the stool is a bit too small. Overall, all the pieces that I opened up today were really adorable and they definitely suit Julie really well. Some of the pieces I definitely recommend over others, but overall they're all very adorable. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening up a couple pieces from Julie's collection. All of these items are brand new so I can't wait to take a look at them and they seem like adorable pieces so let's get started. This is the first set and it is Julie's peasant top outfit. It retails for $32 and it comes with a shirt, a skirt, and a pair of sandals. The 
first piece we have is the top and it is so pretty. It has a really fun flower design in the middle and there is a bow and there's elastic along here and also on the bottom so it's really stretchy and it's also on the sides too and the coloring is so nice and if you're wondering there's velcro on the back. The next piece we have is this denim skirt. It's really nice because you don't have to use it with Julie's outfit so you can use it with a casual top and I think it would look great. So there's pockets on either side and these buttons don't actually work but they're still good to have as decoration. And there's elastic on the waist and if you're wondering on the back it's plain. Last but not least we have these sandals. They're really nice because it ties the whole outfit together. There's a really fun flower design and also there's velcro on the top so it's easy to slide in your doll's foot. Overall, I really love this outfit. It's such a cute set and I definitely recommend it and I can't wait to try it on Julie. This seems like such a fun set and it's Julie's Floral Accessories. It retails for $24 and I'm sure this is going to go great with the outfit I just opened up. And it contains a purse, a headband and a bracelet. This is the first piece in the set and it is the headband. It's really pretty because it has such a nice flower design, especially since it's the floral accessory set. And on the back we have a bow and it's white and it's so pretty. And what's really fun about it is that there's elastic so it's easy to put over your doll's head and you don't have to untie the bow and then retie it. The next piece is the bracelet. It is made out of plastic and it's really lightweight but it has a really fun design and it's blue on the top. And last but not least, we have the purse, and it's really adorable. So it's all brown, and it has Velcro, so you can open it up, and you can put all those accessories inside you just opened up, or anything like that, that your doll or Julie will need to carry around. The flower design here is so pretty, and this is what the back looks like. Overall, this is a really cute accessory set. I do love each and every single piece, but the quality isn't too great. Like, for example, the bracelet is made out of really cheap plastic, so I wish it would be better quality, but I'm still really happy with all the pieces. But saying that, I definitely do recommend getting the accessory set if you do get the outfit, because you can see all the pieces really work so well together, like the shoes have the same flower design, or really similar flower design, to the purse, and I just really love everything all together. I'm really happy that American Girl has finally released another basketball set or a basketball outfit for Julie since that's one of her favorite hobbies. So this is called Julie's Basketball Uniform and retails for $34 and it comes with a top, a pair of shorts, a pair of socks, a pair of shoes, a basketball, and a set of hair ties. that comes in the set is the top so there's no sleeves and it says Jaguars on the side it's 22 and it's a dark blue color and there's also green and white stripes on the side and also down here it's really cool because there's velcro on the back but it's really lightweight and thin and it's kind of like a cloth material next we have the pair of shorts and they're the exact same color and style as the shirt which is really cool so it's navy blue here and then it's green and white on the side and i really love how they have it up here just gives it a perfect touch and there's elastic on the waist and this is what the back looks like this is a really fun piece and it is the basketball i think it has to be my most favorite item just because it's a really cool extra to have because your doll can dress in a basketball outfit and she pretend to be playing basketball with this, which is so awesome. The set also comes with some hair ties. So there's two, so you can put Julie's hair in pigtails or something, which is really adorable. So the actual hair tie bit is white, but it has green ribbons coming out of it, and I think it's really fun. Here we have the socks, and what's really cool about them is that they have the teen colors on the top. Last but not least, there are the shoes, and they're really easy to put on your doll because you just slide it on your doll's foot. Overall, this is such an adorable outfit. It suits Julie so much since she loves basketball, and it's going to go great with the next set I'm about to open up. Now it's time to take a look at this really fun set. It's called Julie's Basketball Accessories. It retails for $38, and it contains a basketball hoop, a basketball, and a medal.
The first piece we have is the basketball, and it's exactly the same as the other one I just showed you guys, and it's the same material and everything. The next piece we have is a medal. It's quite heavy, and it's got a photo of a trophy on it, and there's Velcro on the top, so it's easy to put around your doll's neck. Here we have the base of the basketball hoop. It says Jaguars on it, and what's really cool about it is that it has all of the team colors around it, so the navy blue and the green and the white, and I think this is a really cute piece. The wooden design is on the top to make it look really realistic, and there's a hole here so we can put the basketball hoop inside. This is the basketball hoop itself, and as you can see, it looks very realistic. It looks exactly like a basketball hoop. This is quite a thin plastic. It's really lightweight. If you can hear, it's not too great quality, but it looks very realistic. If we put it down, we've just got this pole here, and we have this accessories piece, so it's easy to put in the base. Overall, this is a really adorable set. I really do love it for Julie, and it's definitely a lot of fun, and you can also play basketball yourself. So I really do love each and every single item that I opened up today. Some of the quality wasn't too great, but I think it definitely suits Julie's storyline. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.